We go now to the Eastern Cape. As we've been reporting this morning, the death toll from the crash involving a minibus, taxi and a truck on the N2 between Mount Aleph and Mount Frere in that province has now increased from 11 to 15. And all those killed were passengers in the taxi. This despite the national lockdown restrictions relating to the ferrying of passengers. And joining us now via Skype uh, from uh, the Eastern Cape, we have the uh, transport MEC, Weziwe Tikana Kolkiwe. Thanks so much for your time this morning, MEC. Thank you very much. Good morning to you and the viewers. MEC, can you perhaps just provide us a little more information uh, regarding the circumstances surrounding that accident? Uh, we are informed that uh, the minibuses was the foreign passengers from town, as we all be believe know that yesterday was the payday for most of the people in the prov province. And also there were a number of grant recipients who were in town to collect their, their grants. Uh, we believe that, we are informed that the, the, the taxi left the rank with eight passengers. Uh, there are roadblocks on our roads, each collected some additional passengers after each uh, passes all the lockdown uh, road, road uh, blocks. That's when it, uh, it, uh, it, it, it was hit by a truck coming uh, from the other side, in, um, in oncoming truck from the other side. So it was a head-on collision, which immediately we were informed that there were 15 people who were deceased, but unfortunately they were increased to 15. They were initially eight, 11, eight. They were eight from the from the taxi rank, but they were 15 when they, they, they experienced the accident. ABC, from that information, I assume it's safe to conclude that the taxi was overloaded in terms of the lockdown restrictions. So what's going to happen now? And uh, can you also just give us an update on the uh, truck uh, driver and that situation? The truck driver now is uh, in hospital with the passenger. There were two in the truck. An investigation will be, will be taken on or on in the truck driver on the accident. Our law enforcement officers and investigators were on the scene yesterday. We'll wait for the, for the report, but both vehicles were taken to the, to the police station. Let me see. Um, I'm sure you've seen, I'm sure you've heard people saying uh, that they view this as an indication of uh, law enforcement officials and traffic authorities' uh, failure or inability to ensure that the COVID-19 regulations are being complied with. Uh, but from what you're telling us, uh, this is not the case. Yes, it is not the case. Uh, it's a very distinct Stabbing, uh, that at the time when the number of COVID-19 cases is climbing on on daily basis, there are still those who have not regard for the regulations which are in place. The 70% passenger limit has been widely communicated and is known by everyone. It is complete disregard of the rule of law that has led le le us to where we are today. Uh, let me say our thoughts and prayers are with the bereaved families during this difficult time. We also wish to call on those who, for whatever reasons, are permitted to use our, our roads during this lockdown to continue being cautious and adhering to the rules of the road at all times. So um, uh, earlier on during the lockdown um, period, we saw uh, pictures uh, being circulated about uh, passengers uh, being ferried in. And we were told those were coming in from the Western Cape to the Eastern Cape, uh, Eastern Cape once again in uh, a contravention of the regulation rules. Uh, how has that situation been dealt with? Has anyone been arrested for contravening the regulation uh, the laws during this time? A lot of people have been arrested, uh, drivers, and some of the taxis were, are impounded. Uh, it's a difficult situation because it's a number of taxis coming from uh, Cape Town, from the Western Cape side, with a number of people. Other taxis were overloaded uh, on the day, and some of them were bringing fraudulent permits. An investigation was summoned, and uh, by now, 
our detective team has gone on to Western Cape to, I, I believe, they will come with the culprit. And uh, just a final word, perhaps, MEC, to drivers and commuters in the Eastern Cape. Uh, a word of warning, uh, a strong word of warning. We are warning all the taxi or public transport operators that they must comply with the regulations. Of course, this is a difficult time. We understand that they are losing some money, but the government has made commitment with them, is engaging with them. We appeal to all the, 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 the people of the province and those who wish to come down that they must... Uh, abide by the by provided by the regulations we are the law enforcement of course will be on our roads on daily basis 24 hours well mec thank you so much uh, for your time this morning and that of course uh, the mec for uh, transport in the eastern cape talking to us about that uh, accident that claimed the lives of 15 taxi passengers uh, during this lockdown